across the Georgia Department of Corrections, becoming accredited by the American Correctional Association is a common goal. ACA is a national accreditation that we are currently undertaking for all of our prisons, our centers, to include our PDCs, transitional centers, and our integrated treatment facilities. Being ACA accredited helps create a safer environment for staff and offenders across the department and ensures all of its facilities are working towards a common goal. It's about standardization statewide. What it does, it makes sure that we're all on the same sheet of music following our policy. It brings about consistency statewide. To ensure the department reaches its goal, a facility compliance specialist works at each of the state's prisons to help facilitate the accreditation process. Jan Martin, the facility compliance specialist at Emanuel Women's Facility, said it's given her the opportunity to become more aware of the differences between each facility. All the same department and we all have the same SOPs, but each facility is a total individual establishment. You know, we house f females, and then you go into a male facility. If you've never worked in a male facility, you've got to understand wh how a male facility runs. You have different places that have GCI plants that you have to, you have different pl places that have fire stations, and all of that falls under standards. And that's, that's what the, it's all about for us to be aware and pay, pay more attention to detail. What their main job is to, one, is to make sure that all the staff inside of the facilities are aware of what ACA is, the requirements for ACA, and making sure that the process indicators, which is the documentation that we utilize to prove that we're following our own policies, is gathered. They are responsible for uploading it into our document system, which is Power DMS, and basically making sure that all staff are aware of the standards and making sure we as an agency are following those standards. At Johnson State Prison, Anquinetta Scott said a big part of the job requires coordinating with other departments within the facility. I just get, get there with them and we sit down and we kind of talk about the different standards and if they kind of disagree with what I have to say, we both look into it and go a little deeper into detail. And we just come to a mutual understanding and it usually works out pretty well. It's sure that we're already doing what we're supposed to be doing. We know, we know we're supposed to be following the policies and procedures and we, we get somebody to come in and look at it during the yearly audit. But then with ACA, we also have another reassurance that we are actually doing what we're supposed to be doing and making sure that we're following all the policies and procedures and doing what's best for the offenders and the staff. Well, ACA is a big endeavor, but we're off to a good start. Um, all different divisions, the, you know, they got a representative in every division that uh, helps us as far as compliance, and it's just a team effort. For Profiles and Corrections, Marcus Floyd.